Hi guys! Okay, so today we have a little bit of a different setup. As you can see, we're not on the ground. I have officially moved houses and it's pretty great. I still haven't found a microphone, so if it's a little hard to hear me, I apologize. I'm not the loudest speaker, but today I am going to be reviewing a recent book I just read. So, spoilers ahead. If you don't want spoilers and you're going to read the book, I wouldn't recommend watching this. Um, so I read The Obsession, and this book went viral on TikTok, I believe. Don't remember when, but I bought it and it honestly sat on my shelf for a good six months before I got to it. Basically, this story is this girl, her dad, her dad dies, and so they move towns, they get uh, money from her dad's death because it was a work accident, and her mom starts dating this dude who's pretty abusive, and long story short, she ends up killing him. The daughter kills him, doesn't tell anyone about it, thinks she's in the clear, and this guy from her school who has a past, which you learn about throughout the book. He becomes this stalker, and so she doesn't know about it, obviously, but he had set cameras up facing her house, like in the garage and everything, and the garage is where she committed the crime. And so she thinks she's in the clear, she thinks nobody knows, and this guy finally asks her out on a date, and he's like, hey, I'm interested in you, let's go out on a date. Little does she know that he's been stalking her. And so their date goes good and everything, and then they get back to the house, and he tells her that um, that he loves her on the first date. She's like, okay, like I'm uncomfortable with what you just said, obviously. Anyone would say that. And she's like, I don't think we should meet up anymore. I think you're weird. I'm calling it off. And it's like, okay, you can do that, but this is what I have on you. And he tells her about the footage that he has of her committing this crime. And so basically, she's stuck with him. <laughs> and she doesn't react well. She goes inside, tries to ignore him, but basically they end up dating. Everyone thinks they're dating, but in reality he's blackmailing her. Like, the story goes on. Eventually, she somehow starts to develop feelings for him because of the way he acts, and it's just really weird. And she's hiding other secrets that she hasn't told anyone about. Because of these secrets, she comes up with a plan to get rid of him as a stalker, and she's a drug dealer at her school. That she's a straight-A student and all these things people wouldn't assume about her are true because nobody would pin her as a drug dealer and what's important to notice also is her not even her stepdad her mom's boyfriend who she killed was a police officer who was looking into who was selling the drugs at the school and his partner takes over the investigation of his murder and the drug dealing going on at this school and she doesn't suspect the daughter of anything but she suspects that her partner who passed away was also on drugs um so they never they never caught her it's important to note they never caught any of this his partner takes over these two cases and it's frequently in this girl's life and there was one day where her and the boy who was blackmailing her, his name is Logan, where her and Logan are at her house and the female police officer shows up, her name is Mendez, where Mendez shows up and she's asking her these questions and like trying to get to the bottom of how he died and she and Logan lies to the police officer and they tell her that they were together when his death happened and they didn't want anyone to know that they were dating previously. Obviously it's a lie that they both told 
because they didn't want her to get caught. And since the main character is this drug dealer, she eventually comes up with a plan to drug Logan. And that was really all of her plan was to just drug him to get him out of her life. And she didn't come up with like a step two or three. Eventually, uh, she broke into his dorm because the school that they go to is a really fancy like private school where you have dorms even though it's a high school. And so she breaks into his dorm. She plants drugs in his room that he's not actually taking. And she tries to find the USB with the footage of her committing crimes. Uh, little, little does she know, it's not actually in his room. He keeps it on a necklace that he wears at all times. And whatever, she obviously doesn't find the USB. She leaves the drugs there. And she left the drugs there because she was going to plant him as the drug dealer at the school because he was already being drugged by her. People would believe it. He already looked really bad. And the way she was doing it is she was baking it into things like cupcakes and cookies and brownies and giving them to him without him knowing. So, pretty messed up. But I mean, what he did to her isn't right either, obviously. So, her and Logan, at, towards the end of the story, they meet up at this river because he decides that he is going to destroy the USB and then try to kill her so that they can be together forever and he can save her. And this entire time, he just is like, thinking in his head like she's unsafe I have to save her from herself something is gonna happen to her I have to kill her to save her and so she won't die alone but she ends up killing him first yeah he got really upset and the drugs were impairing his mental state so she took that and ran with it he tried to attack her which she claims in her head that she was using self-defense against him, but she pushed him into the river after he destroyed the USB, and she held him there. She killed him. And so after she kills him, she goes back to her li librarian job, and that's what she tells everyone she does, that she like works in the library sorting books, but really they're the ones dealing drugs. And so the librarian is like, hey, you stole drugs from me, thousands of dollars worth of it. And our main character explains, it's not that she killed him, but that they got rid of, she got rid of the police because she framed it on someone. And the librarian, I can't remember her name, but she kind of realizes what's happening without anyone saying anything. And so she's like, okay, like you're done working for me. I don't want your help with anything. <laughs> And the main character is just like, okay, cool, I guess I'm gonna leave. And at the end of the story, our main character admits that she kind of enjoys killing people. Yeah. So basically, this page is around 300 pages. I think it's, it's almost exactly 308 pages. It's not my favorite book. Honestly, I think I would give it about a 7 out of 10. The way it's written doesn't give you many details. It doesn't have many descriptive paragraphs. And personally, when I'm reading, I like things that are descriptive. You can play a story in your brain. This is more of event, event, event. You don't get a much of a description of anything, really. You kind of have to make it up in your head which is fine. If you want a quick read that you don't have to really think about, it's a good book. Or if you're, honestly, if you're just getting into high school, it's a really good book. Um, if you're at your reading level, just putting that out there. Yeah, I probably wouldn't read it again, honestly. I'm probably going to end up donating it. But I mean, if you like books that are less descriptive and they talk more about the events, definitely for you. Um, and they don't tell you all these facts right away, it's kind of told over time, so 
not quite a cliffhanger book and not quite a dramatic turn of events. Kind of slowly hinted at. Something else that I forgot to mention is that this girl um, that is being stalked, the reason he's stalking her is because he thought he fell in love with another female who was two years younger than him, no, two years older than him in school. And she ended up ODing and he found her because he snuck into her room while she was sleeping, obviously doing his stalker stuff, figured out that she had overdosed and he left. He went back to his dorm and waited for them to announce her death knowing that she was already dead. And the story kind of tells you how hard it was for him through different little blotches, which I wish they would have just put it in one section. It does just me. Anyways, she he finds out that she dies and he's a complete mess. And the reason why people around him are weary when he starts dating this new girl is because she's basically a replica of the girl that OD'd. The only difference between them is this new girl doesn't wear makeup and stuff so yeah people are super weirded out by it and i would be too and the girl finds out about the girl who died and so yeah it's just a book full of secrets and people knowing things about each other and i believe that the obsession is actually a standalone book i don't believe it's a series from what i've seen so again good quick read the front of the book says boy meets girl boy stalks girl girl gets revenge that's basically honestly how the entire book goes and then i'll read the back of it to you the back says a classic sort of love story except someone might wind up dead logan thinks he and delilah are meant to be delilah doesn't know who logan is logan believes no one knows delilah like he does he makes sure to find learning everything i can watching her through a hidden camera some might call him a stalker. Logan prefers to be called romantic. Logan is determined to make Delilah the heroine in his twisted fantasy and he'll do anything to get what he wants. Delilah is done with men in her life controlling her. If Logan won't let her go, she'll make him. Accurate description of the entire book. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. I will be posting a video soon after this. It's going to be another book review, and it's going to be about a book called The Inheritance Games. And that book is a series, so if you would like to go read it before you watch the video, there you go. You got your heads up. Have a great day, guys. Bye!